everybody. Welcome back to Mimi's Mixed Bag. What I want to share with you today is a really easy uh, emergency breakfast or an emergency dessert that you need to take somewhere that just uses pretty much everyday ingredients that most of us have. Um, I'll have the ingredients and the recipe in the description box, but it's sugar, brown sugar, cinnamon, butter, a chopped up apple, and some canned biscuits. And this is a, what's called a monkey bread. And if you've never heard of monkey bread, it is a dessert that's made with canned biscuits. Um, if you use the cheapy canned biscuits, you would need three of the small cans. But if you use the little bit better canned biscuits like the Grands, you, uh, two cans is plenty. And what you will do is you will open up uh, the cans of biscuits and you will cut the biscuits into fourths. Okay? And, uh, and just plain monkey bread is just made with... Uh, just the bread, but I was going to kick it up a notch and add some chopped apple to it. You can also add pecans or any kind of nuts and make it even more of a decadent dessert. So uh, today um, it's going to be kind of almost like an apple fritter type dessert. And um, uh, yeah, a couple weeks ago I did a little research of where the you know where the name monkey bread come from, and there was really no real explanation. It was uh, uh, debuted like in the 70s on some morning show. And, uh, and the only thing they can come up with is that it is a dessert that is made in a bump pan. And once you invert it over, you know, people just kind of pick the little pieces of biscuit off. And so that's where it kind of derived with monkey is because monkeys kind of pick at their food. So anyway, I'm going to uh, put it all together. Uh, first, I'm going to add the uh, sugar and cinnamon into a gallon bag. And just mix that up really good until it's pretty good incorporated. And I went ahead and just sprayed my bunt pan just, just for safety purposes. It didn't say to, but I always do. And, um, and so just take about five or six pieces of biscuit at a time. You wouldn't want to put the whole can of biscuits in there because it will kind of clump together. But just coat Coat each piece of biscuit and kind of shake it off. And then you're just going to start layering it in the bump pan like that, okay? And so once you have like a good layer of biscuits in the bottom of your bunt pan, then you're going to start alternating biscuits, apples, biscuits, apples until you run out of both, okay? So I'm going to cut away. I'm going to cut out my second can of biscuits and, uh, and be in the process of layering my biscuits, apple, biscuits, apple. Okay, I'm back and I have my coated biscuit pieces. I layered up with my with my apple that's chopped up and I went ahead and took my brown sugar and my butter and I boiled it for one minute and so uh, after it's boiled um, I'm just going to drizzle it over the apples just kind of do it as evenly as possible kind of on the outside edges and inside edges Okay, alrighty, and then I'm going to put it in a 350 degree oven for 35 minutes, and I'll be back shortly and show you what it looks like. Alright, I have my monkey bread out of the oven, baked it for 35 minutes, and let it rest for just a few minutes before I inverted it onto a cake stand. Um, I think this would be something great to make Thanksgiving morning, to nibble on until, you know, you get ready to eat. And so you just, um, you know, you can pull off pieces and just eat it like that. Or you could actually even slice it up, you know, uh, however you want to do it. But anyway, I think it turned out really pretty. And I hope you, I hope you try it and, and let me know what you think about it. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. 